So coming across Cyber Gaffer is it's new. I was blown away. And it was like, huh? How are they doing? This is uh, the right way to do it. Uh, this is heading in a great direction. Uh, we need to know more. Need to know more. We traveled to Burbank, California for an intensive R&D sprint with the Kinoflow team. During our time there, we explored a range of lighting options, developed best practices for setting up lights for a cyber gaffer enhanced virtual production pipeline, and built a fully functional studio from the ground up. Our studio measures 6 by 6 meters and features 14 light sources powered by the Kinoflow air system. We incorporated a fabric green screen to reduce glare and used a BMD Ursa 12K camera to capture every detail with an overall lighting output of 2100 watts. Our setup creates optimal conditions for high-quality production. Depending on your budget and production goals, you might even consider doubling the lighting power to gain additional flexibility with camera sensitivity. Beyond building a reference setup, a significant bonus was the opportunity to connect with industry professionals. We collaborated with the Kinoflow and Lightgear teams, offering them a unique chance to interact with CyberGaffer as a cutting-edge virtual production technology in a realistic studio setting, rather than the usual limited trade show demo format. After the demo, Frieder Hoheim, Kinoflow's founder, and Ramiro Montes de Oca, Kinoflow's virtual production manager, shared their insights about working with CyberGaffer, highlighting the impact of this innovative approach. I'm Frieder Hoheim, founder of Kinoflow Lighting System. I started the company back in 1987. I was originally a gaffer on uh, feature films. So coming across CyberGaffer is it's new. It's a whole new thing. When I first encountered CyberGaffer was late last year, early this year, and it was like, huh? How are they doing? And uh, they saw the videos and was like, okay, uh, this is heading in a great direction. Uh, we need to know more, need to know more. I have to be honest, I don't follow a lot of social media. So when I see something and it speaks to me in terms of addressing the challenges that I see in our industry, my eyes and ears perk up, so to speak. The future looks great when it comes to virtual production. And I think what is so exciting about this whole industry right now is that there's so much innovation going on. You think you know what's going on today? It's gonna to be a little different tomorrow. And I think one of the exciting elements of CyberGaff is their uh, deep understanding of the colorimetry and how the cameras are going to relate to this. I think uh, the path that they've laid out on how to control or replicate what's happening in the environment in a manner that the cameras can capture accurately, I think that's that's really going to be critical to the success. I'm the virtual production manager at Kinoflow. I've been working in the industry for more than 25 years. I've been teaching IBL for, for a while. Image was lighting. It was pretty much a primitive way that we were doing it before. Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm going to go really quick. Ah, let me get this. So this is how I teach how image-based lighting works. So this is a, a sphere that captures all the light from all the angles. What we do usually on, on, on Real Engine is calculate each one of these points, sample that, and bring it into the subject. Now, the way CyberGaffer is doing it is the perfect way. It's something that we were waiting for that. I was blown away when I saw how CyberGaffer was doing it. Like it really taken in consideration not only power levels, everything. Everything was perfect. So you sample first, watch each light is capturing on this ball, which is that ball. At that point, you have a model of your lighting, any configuration of lights, whatever you have around you. The technique was there, CyberGaffer took it to a totally different level. When you introduce feedback from the real world, that's where everything clicks. This is a the right way to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's put it like that. I, I, I think that this is going to become the standard. It, it just makes sense, right? And it's just going to get better. I can see many improvements, but at the same time, I see you start from here and then and then you keep going up. That, that video that Peter put on a fixed camera with all the backgrounds, with HDRIs, it clicked right away. I think that next day I, I was calling the, everyone and, and when I realized, uh, oh, this is anti latency company, okay. So you know what they do. It. Real lighting in, in the film industry is an art. But you want to create an environment that you can replicate later. 
or pick up shot for many other reasons. When you generate this exactly light environment, you can record that on an HDRI, it becomes your, your sample. One of the things like uh, we know Cyber Gaffer can do is take HDRI images. Starting from there, you know, you have an HDRI image, you put it on the system, you just recreate that, that lighting. The faster you, you work on the set, the faster you're gonna move. And it's what I think this is a perfect solution for soap operas. We, we don't have so many automized soap operas here in the US, but I know in Europe they have plenty of those. I know in South America they have plenty of those. Where virtual production really makes a big difference on budgets. This could be literally a new solution for actually measuring life. Yes, it's not perfect like anything, but at the same time, you can create better lighting model that works for a camera, right? And that works for this specific setup. Even if it's, you're not going to use CyberGuffer as an IBL, probably it's a really good tool, period, for measuring light, the whole system, right? No doubt it's going to become part of the standard, golden standard, per se. So that's it. Like, subscribe, and you might still be able to get the early bird discount at cybergaffer.com if you're watching this before the NAB Show 2025. See you in the next video.